I'll go first. I think I, you know, I, I knew, I knew when, I knew when I ultimately met him that I was going to because they told me like who I was going to be reading with. And so I looked to see what he had done, and worked. And I was like, I thought to myself, we're bound to have, we had mutual friends, and I was like, you know, there's, unsurprisingly, you're you're in casting rooms a lot with other guys who kind of are white twenty year olds, whatever it is. Um, and so I kind of knew of him, and I was like, I wonder if I have any friends you know. Specifically, and I didn't know who you know, I was like, I wonder if we met. And we met, and I was like, oh, he's a cute little guy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he can act. Uh, no, it was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really, there's a funny thing about Los Angeles where, A, we were also auditioning. I think he and I had more important things on our minds, as opposed to like, hey, let's make a good friendship. It was like, hey, we gotta get this job. <laughs> We love this script. We've met the writers, we've met the director, um, love the characters, and you're trying to, you know, pay your rent. First and foremost, you have to do. And so I think it kind of, we didn't, f there wasn't like a forced friendship where it was like, hey, uh, I'm gonna go blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, we're gonna watch Cowboy Game 2. Let's, let's watch the Cowboy Game together. Uh, I'm gonna blah, 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 too. Um, so it was kind of more uh, organic. Um, the force was kind of, just had a lot of confidence also. Oh, easy, Tiger. Dean? <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. It's because you're out of practice. <laughs> or not. Yeah, he was, he was already there, he was already uh, seated in the waiting room, um, sitting by himself when I walked in. And I walked in, there was, usually there's a half a dozen yeah, at least different you know, guys there. Especially for that, especially for the network. And I remember I walked in and I, I saw him and I think he had like a hoodie on. <laughs> and he, like this like floppy haired kid <laughs> sitting there and I was like, you better not be reading your beat because I'm going to mop the floor with you. Luckily, luckily for him, I was sick of playing Dean. Yeah. He was already playing Dean. Little to my knowledge, because who watched Gilmore Girls? Uh, so I went, over, I went over and I signed in, and I went and I sat across from him. And I was like, hey man, he's like, hey, how you doing? And there was just kind of, you know, idle. Uh, pleasantries back and forth, um, and I remember I was like, uh, "I said, you uh, read for Sam, repeat." I said, "Go for Sam." I'm like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> well, you just dodged a bullet. <laughs> uh, and I was like, "Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going with Dean." I was like, "Are there other people in there already?" Or he's like, "He's like, no, I this is, I haven't seen anybody else." And the first person that's walked in, I was like, well, "That's kind of strange, right?" He's like, "I was thinking the same thing." And right about that time, the cast came out and was like, okay, Jared, Jensen, you guys come on back. I was like, to together? <laughs> and then they brought us back in. This, this is very, uh, like I'd never experienced, I've probably been to, I mean, maybe not a hundred, but a lot of auditions uh, at this time in my life. And uh, I'd, I'd never been in this situation where it was just one guy for one role and one guy for the other role and the bringing us back together. So uh, we were kind of, you know, we're both kind of scratching our heads and we we're like, what, what is happening right now? And then we walked in the room and there's like 30 suits sitting there <laughs> who are about to judge your life. And, uh, and he and I just like, we didn't rehearse it, we didn't run the lines, we didn't do anything, we just went right into uh, doing a scene together. And it just, I mean, it was like instantaneous, like it just kind of flew off the page, yeah, super easy, like he, he and I were, you know, it, it'd be like meeting somebody and finishing their sentences immediately. So then they asked us to leave the room, and I was like, I was like, was like, I 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 was like, I
we might we might get this. That, that must be also there's no one else here. So if we don't get this, we suck. Make sure we think our lives. That, that was probably the, the most important, you know, 10, 15 minutes of supernatural history. It's whether or not it worked, you know, because if, yeah. if one, they didn't like one or both of us, then mm -hmm. I like to think of would be around there. Um, it's funny because you go, these auditions become so, it's like the drive to work, whatever you do for a living, the drive to school or the walk around the neighborhood with your dog. It just becomes habit. I remember I had a friend one time over and she was just kind of like getting into the business. She was a friend of a friend and I had a stack of scripts. I just bought a house, I'm getting the tour and I had a stack of like 30 or 40 scripts and she looks and she's like, oh my God, are those like your auditions? And I was like, come here honey. And I walked <laughs> downstairs in my garage and I had literally file boxes, like of thousands, probably a thousand scripts. I was like, those are all my auditions. At the time I was on Gilmore Girls and I'd done a few movies, this and that. And I was considered successful enough in my own right. But I was like, no, 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 no. It's not like I booked five or 40 auditions. I booked five of like 500 auditions, you know? So you kind of get this, you get really used to know. So Just think about that. Know. Think about all of those producers that passed on this. <laughs> They started the band. Yeah. I love you guys. Take it easy. Uh, on a serious note, that is they are they are playing us. So love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Hey Dean, what I said earlier about mom and dad. I'm sorry. No chick flick moments. <laughs> All right, jerk, bitch. Talked about it. He peed under the table. <laughs> no, what were your, what was your guys' experience like, and was it what you expected on With, the set? On, on this set or on any set? On like any set, like on Supernatural, like meeting so the cast. Set. <laughs> yes. Yeah, on this set we'll go. What was your set. experience like on any set? I mean Supernatural. <laughs> That's a valid question. What was the first experience, our experience like? Yes. Yeah. Pertaining to Supernatural. Yeah. So like when we met for the first time kind of thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, wow, this guy is really tall and skinny. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this guy's handsome. I, <laughs> I, well, I, Maybe I didn't read the script right. I thought I was supposed to have a brother. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Jared Padalecki. And I'm Jensen Ackles. And we're going to show you a day around set and, you know, how much we love doing what we do and, and what exactly we do do. You said do do. I did say do do. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I think it was, was 18 inch thick concrete. Um, and. They were like, we should probably have these guys test the concrete because everybody was worried that we were gonna like hit it and the things were gonna bounce back at it. Like, oh, it's gonna like, bing! It's gonna hurt your Which wrist. Concrete, like, concrete doesn't give like wood, wood, or, or uh, wood, wood. I said wood, wood. <laughs> uh, or sheetrock or many other materials. So. <laughs> Like wood, wood so or, many, ca or so can, can or cement <laughs> toot toot or whatever. Toot toot um, or poop poop or pee pee. <laughs> hey, don't mess with that toot toot. Does anybody know that song? Please. Don't mess with my toot toot. Stop. Stop. Don't mess with my stop. Toot -toot. stop. 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 You can have the other one. Stop. 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 But don't mess stop. with my stop. toot toot. Hey, pop. Stop. So, if you don't know that song, it's an awesome one. Uh, that's, that, yeah, that's one of the earlier, I think, I don't remember getting the script originally, but I remember reading through it and being like, ah, you know, at the time, like, Charmed was on, and uh, Angel, and maybe Buffy was still on, and those were all great shows, but not the show I wanted to do next in my career. I was like, well, fun, um, but I wanted to do something a little bit grittier and more real, a little bit kind of, like, gnarlier, and they were like, no, listen, this is not going to be a show about like the, the goofy aspects of science fiction. It's going to be kind of gritty like X-Files. I was like, all right, well, uh, send it to me. Let me read it. And I read it and I was like, this, this kicks ass. Like, we should, we should definitely go after this. Um, 
And so, very shortly thereafter, probably within the span of a week or something, we were reading for the heads of the network in the studio, and <clears throat> we show up, and usually when you get to an audition, it's a, it's a horrifically anxiety-inducing um, process. And you usually walk in, and it's like, all the guys who kind of look like you and are within five years of your age, either with this or that way, a lot of them have a lot more experience and they're all talking about like this role they just did or that thing they did. It's a mortifying, just really dehumanizing experience. And so we get there and I'm like, okay, every person who I've ever seen on a TV show or movie that's my age is gonna be there auditioning for this pilot because it was the big Warner Brothers pilot. Um, <clears throat> so I show up and Johnny Hansen walks in and <laughs> is like, hey, you seen Days of Our Lives, Dark Angel, and Smallville? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and I knew he had, it was just a finale. <laughs> no, and so he walks in, we start talking. Hey, where are you from? Texas. Uh, me too. Yeehaw. Who's your, yeehaw. <laughs> Ye frickin' ha. Alright, follow my lead. We'll fit right in. Who's your team? Cowboys? Me too. You uh, listen to music? Yeah. You like country? Yeah. Me too. Uh, long story short, we got along and we were the only people that showed up. Yeah, then my, then my question was, well, where's everybody else? He's like, I don't know. He's like, are, are you reading for Sam or Dean? I'm like, I'm reading for Dean. He's like, I'm reading for Sam. I'm like, so where's everybody else? Where are the other 10 actors that are, that are fighting for this job, right? fighting for this role? and no one ever showed up. And then they asked the two of us to come back. We read together for the first time ever in front of 30 executives and Warner Brothers and... and uh, uh, when I told Dad I was scared of the thing in my closet, he gave me a 45. What was he supposed to do? <laughs> you know what's happening. In actuality, it was, what was he supposed to do? <laughs> Here's this. He gave me 45. Out there. Thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. Nice. This is the last I swore I was done hunting for good. Come on, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah? When I told Dad I was scared of the thing in my closet, he gave me a 45. Well, what was he supposed to do? I was nine years old. He was supposed to say, don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of the dark? Are you kidding me? Of course you should be afraid of the dark. You know what's out there. Everything he's done for me. Yes. All he's done for me, for us, is, is set the land speed record for effed up childhood. Don't be over dramatic. Dean, when I said I was scared of the thing in my closet, he gave me a 45. Well, what was he supposed to do? He was supposed to, to say, uh, uh, ghost stories are just stories. He was supposed to say, don't be afraid of the dark. He. But you should be. You know what's out there. Well, yeah, I know, but you're not. Are you going to be giving a point anytime soon? Yeah, the point is that I never asked for it, all right? The coal homework and, 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 and melting silver into bullets and, and all our family road trips. Chasing those freaky ass things all over the... I never wanted any of it. You can't pick your family. Yeah, I know. But I can't live my own life. And all our, our gory dysfunction... I buried it, man. I swore I was done with it for good. You know as well as I do, nothing stays buried. Look, man, Dad will be okay, all right? He'll be home in a few days. We'll see. Do 
Thank you. 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 You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>